Could you maybe talk a little bit about the, the musical personalities of some of the, the different famous trombone players? Yeah, yeah. One of my f favorite subjects, maybe we'll jump right to that, is, is the plunger playing. Mm -hmm. Let me grab my horn and you got this plunger. This actually was Quentin Jackson's plunger, a long story how I got it. And you cut the rim out and look how beautifully he cut it out, you know, just. And then there's this mute. A trumpet straight mute, a special one called a non pareil, and it was the best trumpet straight mute for years. Now the guys in the in the 20s and 30s, they, it was new. All this stuff was new, and they were looking. Man, they used to put coke bottles in the bell, steel wool, chicken wire, all kinds to make different <laughs> sounds. So Turkey Sam played this on uh, uh, Jack the Bear, simple blues. He didn't even play all 12 bars. He, he stopped at the 11th bar practically. So. <laughs> and he had a way. He put a lot of air through the horn. I did a lot of recording of this stuff, and just I noticed it. That's what you had to do, and it was it was always intense. It was always it was always demanding, important. You know, even if it was something mellow. So. And that was it. You know, it's just like it's a statement. You know, you know, you'll hear a lot of musicians play in a period of time like that, probably five times as many notes. Mm -hmm. But he's singing. He's always singing something. And singing is the most important part of thing. Singing, expression, telling a story. So it's never like if you want to learn to play like him, it's never about trying to get the notes right. It's not about, you know, how far you put the mute in, where do you put the plunger, et cetera. It's about listening to the story he's telling. This was a band full of storytellers. Duke was a master storyteller. He kind of like, kind of held the strings. Okay, you tell the story now, you do this. Duke would say like, if I have a guy with eight good notes, I'm gonna write something beautiful that really expresses those eight notes. Now, there was another guy, now Tricky is a grandfather. I might find myself going back to him. After Tricky was Tyree Glenn, who is really something. And, and I uh, was doing this Broadway show called Grand Hotel, which was like a Viennese kind of style. I used live vibrato a fair amount. All of a sudden I said, man, it just accidentally I started sounding like Tyree, because he used a lot of live vibrato. And, uh, and he was bubbly, brilliant in his playing. And I'll, later on I'll tell you a little bit about uh, Britt Woodman, who was very much like that too. He didn't do a lot of plunger, but when he did, he sounded great on it, but he was more like the lead player. They had a similar personality like that. Every time we did a couple of gigs, the Tyree, they brought Tyree to come in and play with us uh, at some recording. There was a guy named Harold Minerve, they called it Giesel, and he was, a real, he was a real piece of work. And Tyree would come in and say, hey, Manure, how you doing? <laughs> oh, man, I'm sorry I met Minerve. <laughs> and that's, it, was, it was like that. You know, he was great. He was really nice to me. So here's a song he did. I'll do a little bit of it, and you'll hear that lift vibrato. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Real yeah. happy, really yeah. up, 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 you know. So he was like the second plunger trombone coming into it. Now, he went on a vacation. Now, this is what Butter Jackson told me. That, and I can't imagine Butter lying to me. He said, Duke, I need some time off. This is Tyree. Tick. And Duke said, well, fine, but who's going to play the plunger? He said, oh, Butter's got it. Butter's got it. And like, uh, Butter gets on the gig one night, and Duke goes, boom, you got it. <laughs> I don't know if they, they must have hired some other trombone player, but Butter was given the plunger responsibility. Now, Butter, had his, it's interesting. At that point, okay, so you have the great Tricky Sam Nanton, you have Tyree Glenn, who's just like, 
you know, all kinds of stuff. He got all the bases covered. All of a sudden, here comes Butter, and he plays inside out, which is just, I'll, sh I'll give you an example. He goes. <laughs> He can get up there too. <laughs> Frank West always would say, uh, Butter, man, he plays like Hawa Kawi, you know. <laughs> and that was the way he played, man. It was just so great. Why was he called Butter? You know? Oh, yeah. Well, did you ever see what he looked like? No, Especially from the yeah. side. Take a look at the side view. Big guy. There was another butter. I can't think of who else. It just meant that he liked to eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quentin Butter Jackson. And there's another beautiful piece. Uh, I'll play a little bit of it from the, the Duke Ellington's Shakespeare Suites, mm -hmm. the uh, Such Sweet Thunder. This is a sonnet for Sister Kate, I think it's called. <laughs> And there were other guys after those three, but to me, those were the three. There was a really great guy named uh, Malcolm Taylor who Duke loved. He was just wild. Booty Wood was also a great player of it. Oh, they're gone, man. It's sometimes I'm as old as now as a lot of the guys were when I was in the band. Oh, some were older, than, you know. I mean, I was 23, man. That's wild. Uh, yeah, you know, it's funny. I even remember like almost waking up in a cold sweat one night many years later thinking, I did what? <laughs> you know, I was like, I mean, I never thought I couldn't. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't like I knew I was destined to do it, but I, I never thought, oh, I remember telling this guy when I was in high school, he used to give me a ride to a big band we both played, and I think he was in college at the time. He says, yeah, I'm going to try and see if I can get to play with Basie or Ellington. And the guy must have, like, go like, who the hell is this kid? <laughs> and, like, and I see him every once in a while. He still lives in Connecticut. We never talk about that. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> I just thought, wow, this is fun stuff. I'd like to try it, mm -hmm. you know.